Can you say that again? We can't show that video. Why not? I'm going to look stupid. Well, people need to learn from it. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And this is enjoythejourney.life. We recently purchased our used 2019 Grand Design Momentum Toy Hauler, and today is our first time packing up the campsite and towing our new RV, but things did not go as planned. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. What's that? Fat man step. Watch your head. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I've never oh, seen that. Oh, cool. <laughs> that would be handy. Very handy. 29 inches center to center. What's what's the brand? Pin in the middle, and then you take the top off. Oh, okay. What what brand is that? Husky. Okay. What kind of hitch is this? It's a Pro Pro series. We really appreciate that the seller, Mark, was willing to trade for our hitch and a little extra cash, so we could have the appropriate rated hitch for the momentum. That holds them together, huh? That's, that was the, the masterpiece. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Pieces we can handle. It'd be easier just to pull right up next to my truck. And just, sure, that's, uh, makes sense to me. Uh, <laughs> smarter, not harder. <laughs> yeah. Close. Oh, there it there. goes. Okay, so then. Oh, that popped in. Yep. And then take the handle off. And I always put my breakaway cable on there. And then put this in there to lock it close. Oh, okay. I uh, usually throw this in where my jack control is because you got to get run the jacks next anyway. Okay. And nobody can mess with it when you're parked overnight or whatever. They can't decouple it. They don't have a handle. And the handle doesn't get into any trouble when you're going around a tight corner either. <laughs> right. So I'm going to line the hole up like this. And that part comes off of there. there. Pull the runaway brakes out when we've done that. We've got to weight off the hitch just so it just touches. So we'll be hovering in there with just barely a gap. Pull, pull it open. Okay, but then so so to but you got to pull it up like that in that's order to when back you're, when into you're backing it. Backing in, that's okay. where you want it when you're going to hitch up. So then out this way and then down, right? Hard to do for up there. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so with that, you don't probably have to do what grease it or anything like that. It's nope. just clean the grease off your trailer. And now the only time it'll get greasy is when you take it in for service and they get grease all over the thing. <laughs> right. Well, it's our first move day officially in the Momentum oh, and yes. we are... I just bumped my elbow. RVs are dangerous. <laughs> but this one's less dangerous. This one is less dangerous. This does not have all the sharp points. But our first official move day... Today! So, woo, woo. so yeah. yeah, we're already like... Oh, it's 
brainstorming, all the different things are going to be doing differently. Right. What things do we have to move? What things can stay? It's a little bit different because we don't have to actually go very far. We're just moving spots in this campground. And I know you're happy that we're moving sites. We're yes. going to a full hookup site. Yes. So we can actually take long like showers. A shower? Like a real shower? A real shower, not have to worry about uh. conserving water. And the washer and dryer are supposed to be moved today. You know how much laundry we have? We have so much laundry and sheets and blankets and yeah. towels and oh my god. I'm having gosh. to turn my underwear inside out. No, he's too. not. Gross. <laughs> Please tell me you're not doing I'm that. I'm not doing that. What? No, I'm not doing oh, that. Oh, okay. I was just confirming. <laughs> so what are you making? Um, Some morning hash browns in the air fryer, no oil. Yeah, I love it. It's Your, awesome. Yeah, the air fryer and Instant Pot do fit over here on this thin shelf here, but we can't use the Instant Pot over there, right? No. Oh, because it spits up? Yeah. And I don't would, want it spitting up on the cabinet. So and all that moisture comes up. Yeah, but I have a, a plug-in right here, so it, I cook. You bring it over here. Yeah. Yeah, lots of options. I know you're loving this island. Here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, love, love. So many things we love about this. So RV. many things. I mean, we're we're celebrating. I think the refrigerator like many times. Every daily. time we open it. Yeah. We're like, oh my gosh. So yeah. much space. Uh, not worrying if it's going to stay to temperature or not. Right. And I know there has been some people with uh, momentums that have had issues with refrigerators not staying cold, but whatever, this nor cold stays cold. It <laughs> so, stays cold. So yeah, we are, uh, I think that's one of the benefits to buying used, uh, gently used, that any issues have been kind of worked out with the first owner. And yeah. Yeah. We have found very few issues. Right. So I'm gonna yep. All right. show the office. You're going to the office? Yeah, just to just to show people what's going <laughs> on here. So what a, oh it's a mess in there. Yeah, well we have not purchased any of the organization stuff yet. We're not going far, so this stuff is all gonna ride fine. If we were going long distance, we would not ride this way. We'd have to do more. We're gonna get some organizational ideas about some real cabinets, a desk. It's just easier to bring everything over now and then figure it out. One of the recommended items for RVing for a fifth wheel is this slick disc plate. Here's a brand new one right here. Here's the one I have had on the Columbus for seven years and it's still fine. And what this does, it eliminates the need to use grease on this so you don't have that sticky gooey mess on your hitch. That one's still fine. I bought a brand new one that I'm going to place on the Momentum right now. Nice shiny brand new. This side up just fits right there and it pushes right up and it stays stuck right there. So after I give it some a little bit of more of a push. Well, time to move out of this site. It's not a full hookup site. We are anxious to get to full hookups. This is a really shady site, uh, which is nice, but the momentum does not have slide toppers. So I've got to crawl up top and check and make sure there's no leaves and sticks, things like that up top. And we need to put slide toppers on the list to purchase ASAP because I, I really enjoy having them. I know some people don't like them, but, but I really like them uh, not having to get up on the roof most times to check for what's going on up there. First time using the ladder. A little different system than on the Columbus where the ladder is on the side and then it just comes out like that with those safety pins. So, yeah, time to go up top. This is nice that they think of safety. 
an extra thing to grab onto up top. Need to do some uh, tree trimming here. Just light branches touching, but still no branches touching would be the best. Yeah, there's not too much on top here. A few little leaves but we don't want that going on the inside. And just a few right there and right there. So I'll get that swept off. Well, time to bring in the bedroom slide yeah. for the first time. Yeah, still moving in. So this place is a wreck still, but as long as we can get in here to sleep, right? Which well, kind of cool. This slide is, you know, higher off the floor. So where's the button for the slide right here? All right, we're yep. ready to come in? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, that sounds crappy. Crack that. No, they're always a little noisy. Yeah. Oh, put, pushes the bed a little bit. Should we pull the mattress over I mean, a little bit? It stopped, bit? right? Yeah, but it's sounding kind of forced. Yeah, I mean, it it, sh it should be tight. So here's a question. So... When this is outside, that up there was outside, so does that mean there's bugs that are going to be on our bed? We can get that. I swept it off good. Okay. So... Let's take a peek back there. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. This is kind of a handy feature. How much more counter space is that, huh? Yeah, it's super convenient. So now to figure out what to do with these chairs because this slide comes all the way up to here ah, and the kitchen slide comes all the way up to right. there. So laying them down maybe right here. Yeah, and we've got Instant Pot, Air Fryer, other stuff over there. So we could try putting this there. Um, Lay that one opposite. Tuck, kind of tuck it in with that, that one. Does it fit? Almost. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be good because. Cool. You know, it kind of naturally the pads protected on each side here. The slides will be in, so it just there's not gonna be much movement. This is soft here. It's not going to go that way, so I don't think it's going to have any issues with the fridge. We have the Instant Pot and the Air Fryer over here tucked away, except does that, that need to come in further right here? This is the line right okay. here. Right. So. All right. Um, that looks good then. I'm trying to show my fancy shoes. Oh, yeah. His house shoes. My indoor shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy shoes. Yeah, I guess we need to move that rug. Actually, maybe that would be a good idea right there. Oh. That way there isn't any issues yeah. here. Yeah, let's make sure this is sealed shut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and maybe put some towels. Maybe we need to put some towels in the glasses over here. Keep track of these. This is the clean one. Put this up top. We need to get some of that grippy stuff. Are these the only ones where there's glass glasses or? Oh, just lay that down. Yeah. That should be good. Yeah, what we're not sure about is you can actually see a few spots that we believe have been damaged from the inside. Yeah, dishes, you know, banging around and the old make sure everything is clicked tight. Yeah. This thing is so new. Some of these are pretty darn hard <laughs> to even open. They are. We need some WD-40 on those. Yeah. We're going to take our chances with the soda stream for such a short roll. This is going to look actually different when we go long term because we may not even want like this stuff bouncing around right. and scratching the cabinet because all that's going to go forward in a in a long haul right all right time to bring in the main slides double check that everything is out of the way and yeah i've got the controls here we ready everything's clear yeah everything looks good 
Double check there. Or you can do the bed slide here too. Yeah, you can. It's nice to keep an eye on it though, right. I think. Okay, so let's go in. Yes. You do a negative for in. That seems weird. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh. It does one at a time. Yeah, whichever one is. Wow, it gets close. Yeah, it does. Oh, stop a second. <laughs> I didn't close that door. I could get it from the other side, but... It clicked shut? Okay, ready again? Yeah. Alright. Watch those stools. Make sure they're okay. That's it. So... I think we're ready. Drop Actually, that down is, in there. This seemed a lot easier than our other... RV. <laughs> okay. That's locked. Let's get these steps. Oh, in. those fold up different. Uh, uh, I don't, I've actually never done these, so I'm like. What in the world? Well, well I, this actually has like a joint on it, but is it bolted in? Oh, uh, there we go. It's just a little stiff. I get it now. Okay. All right. There you go. We don't want that going inside. Yeah, I guess not. No. So some people have complained that they don't like these steps because in the snow, you flip them up and it melts all over the inside of your kitchen. But I think sweeping them off is probably a good solution for that. And we don't plan to be in the snow. And we don't plan to be in the snow. And if it's wet, then so be it. We'll clean up a little bit of mess. Yes. All right. You could lay it down. It's going to fall. Is that good? Sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, they're a little heavy and dirty. And then does that lock them in? I think I think it automatically. Well, I guess yeah. Turning like that uh, locks it. But okay. either, either way would release. Then, how we about need to that? Remember that with the rug too. That it goes in like that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Lock that up, even though it's not necessary. And turn that in. We should disconnect the power first, huh? <laughs> I've got to run way back there and roll it all up. I'm going to get my gloves. This is awesome. It came with a nice long power cord. So as we are a long ways from the power pedestal. Auto leveling here. I got to remember this. To unlock the touchpad, press and release the up and down button simultaneously. You get the LED indicator. What we need to do is wake it up, got the green, then we want hitch height. So you can see we got the rear legs going up right there. And now it's raising up to that spot. But I don't have the exact truck that Mark had pretty darn close but that looks to be about right well that took a few extra times yeah uh, yeah heavier duty hitch one I have not used before um, but nice little safety thing here this little white pointer means that we are in the locked position uh, so safe to pull you can also see the the arm right there over so like Cherie was saying, we need a checklist because like ordinarily I'd have the cables all down, but I left them all in the stored position. You want to hang on to this? 
<laughs> so I've got to get up in the truck. We're going a short distance. Probably don't need to do all of this, but I don't want to not do something just because it's short. It's kind of, you know, brand new rig. Don't want to make any mistakes the first time. So let's do it by the book. Safety cable and the old poop brake which can just stick on oh poop yeah <laughs> all right Get that plugged in now let's see how she takes the weight wake it up and now i'm going to i'm going to do this manually here there's a retract all but I see it. it does kind of one at a time. Getting used to new new sounds. All the weight is on there. <sighs> yeah. I was already at the new campsite but then I realized I needed to record Tom towing the momentum for the first time. So I raced back over there. Walkie. I just turned it on. Okay. I didn't know you were walking over here. Well, I thought, well, don't we need to record this? You pulling out for the first time? Okay. I'm ready. All right, it's rolling. What the hell? What the 